welcome. I hope this video finds you as well as can be. There is a massive PSYOP going on um, that is destroying both men and women. Neo-feminism not only castrates men, but it just destroys women. What makes a woman a woman? What makes a man a man? Does having a womb make you a woman? What if you had a hysterectomy? Are you not still a woman? I would argue that it's not your organs or even your hormones that make you man or woman, but an energetic signature. I'm gonna to touch more on that in other parts to this series. But if you've ever done ayahuasca and they separate the men and the women in the room, it's very evident that men and women have different energies. Men are on a much lower frequency and women are just like, bing, like way up there. And men are like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> it's like, you can really feel it if you've ever done ayahuasca and the men are separated from the women. It is totally different energetic signatures. So even if you're, you're a woman who wants to be a man and wants to have the hormones and have a sex change or vice versa, you're a man that wants to be a woman and you go and get the hormones and have the sex change, I would argue that you are still the sex you were born as. Hermaphrodites do exist in nature, but they are so incredibly rare. They're definitely more rare than uh, seizures from these jabs, so it, it happens. And a hermaphrodite, I haven't met one, but I would assume it would have more of a, um, a he, she would have more of a feminine um, energetic signature because we're all born, um, well, our cells are all first female before they differentiate into male. So actually the difference between a man and a woman is simply you are a woman because you're not a man. You have a vagina, you never had your clitoris descend into a penis and your ovaries descend into balls. So if you still have any female organs in place and you're born a woman or born with any female organs, I would say your energetic signature is more female, even if you're hermaphrodite. So while men and women are equal, we are very different. And it bothers me that there's a rise of male chauvinism to counter the neo-feminism because it is male chauvinism that sparked neo-feminism. Chauvinism and abuse towards women causes this mess that we're in. It's what caused it. So it's wrong to go back. There are no ways going back of how men and women should interrelate because nothing has worked in the past that we know of. In the ancient past, there was probably definitely a way that men and women got along. And like the yin-yang symbol, the black and white pieces each have a little part of the other. The yin-yang symbol is an image of natural law. If you want to learn anything about magic, you have to study natural law first and learn it well. There's masculine and feminine in everything. And within each masculine and feminine, there is a, a little bit of the other sex as well to keep everything balanced. And they're equal in size. They're equal of importance. And they deserve equal respect. So how to go about healing this conundrum that we're in between men and women, how to move forward as a species, because we need both men and women to survive as a species. We have to forge a new way forward. 
Forging a new way forward involves a lot of examination and healing. And while men are utterly being destroyed these days under neo-feminism, women are also being destroyed under the guise of being propped up. It's actually destroying us. If you have a womb, it probably needs some clearing. So in this part of the video, I am going to do a clearing ritual with you. I'm gonna guide you through it. I want you to get out a yoga mat, a towel for your knees, and two pieces of paper and a pen. Once you have all that, sit down, get comfortable, and place your hands on your womb. On one piece of paper, write down everything you imagine a womb should be. Maybe you think it should be a receiver, a creative force. A place of love. A place of trust. Should be an energy center. A vortex. Whatever you imagine it should be, write that down. And on another piece of paper, put your hands on your womb again and really feel what's inside there. What are you packing in that womb? Write down what you feel is in there. The fear, the pain, the trauma, the attachments. Maybe a performance pressure, a karmic chain. Anxiety. Disease. If you have a child in your womb, because this, womb, this uh, ritual is a womb clearing ritual, I would do the ritual much more gently or not do the ritual if you're carrying a child right now. And congratulations if you are. So write down all the stuff you have in your womb that you wish wasn't there. Try to get everything down. And remember that you were an egg in your mother's belly when your mother was in your grandmother's belly. So you don't just have your own womb, wounds in there. You have some of your mother's traumas and some of your grandmother's traumas as well. Just stored in your DNA. Isn't that fun? And that's why women suffer a lot more karmic chains than men, it's like in your DNA. But we can clear that. <clears throat> so write down everything that you know is in there that shouldn't be there and everything you think is in there that shouldn't be there. And now I want you decide today that you are going to create a whole new you and you're going to empower yourself. So you decide what's in your body and what's not in your body. Just make that decision. Light a candle, light some incense. This is a ritual. Let's make it magic. Face the south. We're gonna do this Inca style. In the south, you have the wisdom of the serpent. Invite and thank the serpent for his wisdom. In this ritual, ask the serpent to help you shed your skin, to help you learn your lessons and shed that skin 
so that you may move on to newer and better lessons. Ask a serpent to make you aware of all things ego that you must let go of. And face the West and invite and thank the puma, the big cat. Thank the cat for lending you its compassion and its ultimate presence to be in the present moment. Like the cat is one with the forest. You are one with your body and one with your surroundings. And face the north, invite and thank the condor, the great eagle. Thank the eagle for lending you his perspective from the highest point so that you may see from above all the details and you may fly above the storm. They make their nests above the storm too. Now face the east, invite, honor, and thank the hummingbird. The hummingbird travels the greatest distances on the smallest amount of nectar. The Incas believe the hummingbird transcends time and space in a buzzing golden frequency. It is a healer. It sucks out disease. Now that the circle has been opened, get down on your yoga mat, either fold the yoga mat under your knees or place a towel folded up under there so you don't get sore knees. Go on your hands and knees like yoga cat and cow. You inhale, arch your back, bring your butt to your head, and exhale with a lion's breath. Exhale when you bring your pelvis towards your head. And inhale. Exhale out everything that you're packing in your womb that shouldn't be there. Now you're gonna do this for many minutes. I want you to do this until you have tears running down your face. I want you to do this until you're shaking, yelling, maybe screaming. With your breath, you're gonna command out all that shit that's in your womb that shouldn't be there. Just inhale. And you breathe it out with force. If you're unable to get down on your hands and knees, you can do this seated down. If you're carrying child and want to partake, just do this much more gently. And hold in your mind's eye exactly what it is you are expelling with your breath. Exhale all that shit that's in your womb that should not be there. Just exhale it out. Pause the video and keep doing this until you just have nothing left in you. Pause the video, you can keep doing this for like 20 minutes. Get out everything. Get out all that pain, get out that trauma. Breathe it out. Breathe out those memories. Breathe out those attachments. Breathe out those old belief systems that don't belong there anymore. If belief systems have a lot to do with karmic chains. Your father was an alcoholic and your grandfather 
But if you have a belief in your head that attractive men are alcoholics, get that belief out of you. You have a belief in you somewhere that love is loving an alcoholic. Breathe that belief out of you, command it out. Out. Let it go. Once you've done all this, you should be exhausted, have a sip of water, get comfortable again, lie down, put your hands over your womb in a V shape, like this. Put your hands right over your womb and give your womb love. Just fill your womb with love from your hands and trust. Fill your womb with trust and love, support, protection, creativity, splendor. Fill your womb with all the good stuff your hands and with your intentions. Give your abdomen a loving touch. Touch your thighs, touch your breasts. Just caress yourself with love, support, affection. Embrace yourself. Most women's wombs are in a state of bracing for some trauma. Anyway, get rid of all that and just embrace, caress, love, touch. Touch yourself with love. Feel relief. If you're suffering from polycystic ovary syndrome, berberine may be able to assist you further. If you're suffering from premenopausal symptoms, I heard chaseberry is good from a friend. I never tried it myself. For PMS symptoms, Dong Kwai, Angelica root is gold. It'll be your go-to. It'll cut your period down from five days into two if you're over 30. It'll make the first two days much more heavy, but then it'll also take away the cramps. It just gets the blood going and it ends it sooner because it gets it out faster. If you suffer from a lot, a lot of cramps, stop using tampons or switch to all cotton organic ones that aren't super max. Because you're dehydrating yourself from the inside using these nasty chemical tampons. Really pads or diva cup that you keep very well sanitized is better. If you have a bacterial infection, get on antibiotics. You need antibiotics for an, inf an infection that that's that deep. Don't sleep with nasty guys. Listen to your body. If your feet are cold, maybe you're not ready for sex. If you're not sure, if you're not ready. Listen to your body. If sex hurts, maybe you don't want him inside you. 
your body holds great wisdom. Women with breast cancer, it's been discovered that these women have the issue of putting everyone's emotional needs before their own, always. They just put themselves last and they don't think about their own emotional needs. You don't want breast cancer? Genetics has nothing to do with it. These, this, is, this is all about energy. Everyone is made of energy. That's what we are. And then a bit of matter, oxygen, water. Yeah, we're made of the elements, but mostly we're energy. And when our soul leaves our body, it's just a skin suit, lifeless. So you have to respect your energy, your beautiful feminine energy. Your period is not a curse. It's natural. You need your period to have a baby if you want children. It doesn't have to be a curse. Stay hydrated before your period. Don't eat so much meat and don't eat so much sugar and so much junk food. Respect the seasons of your cycle. You're gonna have way more energy before your period, way less energy when you're on your period. When you have your period, it's like the winter. You go back into your roots. You do some deep diving. Figure out what's going on deep, deep down. Before ovulation and ovulation, it's like the spring. Things are fertile. Things are growing. Planting seeds. Then you move into summer and get more active. You're like a blossom flower. Right before your period, you're gonna probably ditch what is no longer serving you. Like dead leaves fall from a tree. As a woman, you are all the seasons and it's your period that makes this cycle possible. You have hormones that rise and copper levels that rise and fall. Honor yourself as a woman, honor your cycles, honor your seasons. We'll get more into the differences between men and women in the next parts. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You can close the circle thanking the serpent, the puma, the condor, and the hummingbird. And whoever else you may have called in, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, sky people. Women receive. We need to be open to receive. We constantly give. To keep this flow open of giving and receiving. It's like breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Give, receive. Give, receive. Don't just give, 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 give. Women were not built like that. There's seasons, there's cycles. And most of all, we receive a lot of information. And we store it until we release it. Your menstruation is a great time to release everything from the month. It's a great clearing. And so is this ritual. You can do this ritual as often as you want. If you'd like 
a deeper healing and you're really suffering with your womb or with anything else, I do offer a healing program called Beyond Quantum Healing. It's a full day. I do it over Zoom. It takes between four and eight hours, depending on how much trauma you have in you. It consists of three parts. The first is um, consciously dealing with your subconscious through specific neural pathways and reprogramming. The second part is a full body entities clearing. And the third part is hypnosis. I basically guide you on how to heal yourself and give you the tools. After you've done this once, you could do it yourself as many times as you want after that if, if new traumas arrive in your life or new reprogramming you want to do. And you could take those skills and you could heal others and you could teach others. If you would like one of these healings, I'll put my email in the description. It does take a full day, so I don't offer this for free right now. It does cost money, but just send me an email and we'll make it happen, okay? Have a wonderful healing journey. Enjoy your journey. Be empowered. Love yourself. Love life. Love love. Because that's what you're made of. Bye.